Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nick Flow Show. I'm your host, Nick Flow, and today I'm going to show you how I make millions of astral diamonds by guildmark farming. If you don't know what guildmark farming is, if you've never heard the term, you're at the right place. I'm going to show you everything you need to know, and it starts right now. All right, and we're back. So the main reason for this video is because I was in Alliance chat and there's a lot of people in my own Alliance chat that don't know how to cap the 30,000 Guildmark threshold in this game. So what you're going to want to do is gather four of your friends, make sure you're not in a guild. That's very important. You cannot be in a guild and you have to be in the same instance. Now, all five of you, depending on who's running the Guildmarks, um, is going to come to the guild register and actually make guilds. So obviously I'm in a guild so I can't make one, but it's really easy to make one and uh, I'll show you what it looks like on the other side once you make one. Alright, so like I said, you want to be in the Enclave, five people. I'm the one that's running right now, so you'll see me go ahead and enter the guild stronghold. Now, this guild stronghold will be guild level one, obviously. Now, guild level one uh, can only hold so much in the coffer. Um, which is why you can only put one blue profession and one purple profession. So to also get ready, you're going to want to have uh, 10 purple profession masters and then 10 blue profession masters, as I'll show you right here. As you can see, I have all these purple and blue profession people. So I'll go ahead and... Uh, one thing I like to do is get them rearranged. Um, I re they are used up from the bottom right of the list and they go to the top left. So that's why you see I'll have my profession people all on the right side of my inventory as it goes from the bottom right to the top left because it just makes it easier. Once I go in the coffer, I don't have to go from the top of the list. I don't have to find the ones. They're already in chronological order. So it'll go blue, purple, blue, purple makes life super simple. But that's pretty much it. You just keep running this. You go in the, you go into the guild stronghold. You'll dump your one blue profession, one purple profession. And as you'll start noticing, I'll get 3000 guild marks every time I do this. You need to run this 10 times per person or however you guys are doing it, however you and your group have decided to do it. Uh, but you'll need, like I said, the 10 professions for each and that'll cap you at 30,000 guild marks. So not rocket science, nothing hard at all. Um, it does take the initial investment to get the profession people, obviously. But what you're gonna get out of it is huge. You know, you're gonna be able to either farm uh, the explorers charts that you can get in the on uh, not in the enclave that you can get in the stronghold and there's new there's new stronghold charts actually there's new there's new charts for the cold run Bryn Shander, and lonelywood maps um, those are the newest materials uh, for the t3 crafts um, so you're able to buy things like uh, the chart you're also able to buy anything you know dragon flight gear you're able to buy uh, most importantly temporary structure items uh, now that is if you are a guild hall 14 you'll be able to purchase those things if your guild has summoned the profession vendors but other than that it's super simple guys you'll just see me keep going in here all you need is a group of five uh, you all need to be in the enclave you need somebody to make the guild for you um, so they'll be making the guild, you go in the travel post, you go ahead, go to the stronghold, drop one blue profession, one purple profession, you do that 10 times, it gives you 30,000 guild marks, and that's as easy as it is. You know, you don't have to do this on your main character, you can do it on an alternate character. You know, whoever, who, who however is best fit for you. Now, for me personally, I actually hire some friends. So usually I'll hire uh, three to four friends and I'll pay them some AD for just hanging out with me for 20 minutes. Uh, usually takes when I run myself 10 to 15 minutes. So I just go ahead and pay the guys for their time. I run in there because I don't do it with five people anymore. 
You know, I do it by myself. I can't be there for hours how I used to, but that's how I started. I started in a full group of five people. And, uh, you know, that's the way you have to start. So that's all you need. Five group members. Everybody in the enclave can't stress it enough. Ten blue profession people. Ten purple profession people. You're able to get charts. You're able to get materials for crafting. And then you can either craft yourself or sell them on the auction house. Um, but this is the most effective way to get guild marks. Now, there are a lot of videos out there already showing how to do this, but it's just they're so damn long. It doesn't take 20 minutes to show people how to max guild marks. Like, that's, that's absolutely insane, and that's almost every video out there is about 20 minutes. So, in a few short minutes, I showed you how to get from 0 to 30,000 guild marks real quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I have for now. My next video, I'm going to show you how to make a lot of diamonds from using the temporary structures in the guild hall. Once again, you have to be guild hall 14 in order to do that. But like I said, this is the best, most efficient way to hunt guild marks, to farm guild marks, and to make actual diamonds. I'm not going to lie. Uh... So I appreciate everybody coming by. If you have any questions at all, please make sure to leave it in the comment section below. And that's going to be it. So I appreciate everyone stopping by. Once again, I'm Nick Flo of the Nick Flo Show. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.